Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and um, I had a request probably a couple of weeks ago now to show some ideas of how you can use maybe pockets or little folios um, as birthday cards, right? Or I guess as a greeting card or something like that. Um, but the viewer specifically asked for birthday card ideas. And often when I'm showing you guys different folios, I'll say, wouldn't this be cute to use this instead of giving somebody a traditional card? So I guess um, that's where this request came from. So I'm gonna just show you a few things that I've made and then we'll do a few together. So they're probably a little similar to things I've done like this is just a library pocket um, I am using fall colored papers because that's the mood I'm in this is actually some of the papers by pink monarch prints the harvest bloom collection there's like a paper kit a, uh, a kit with cards and then a kit with some fussy cuts so anyway I just I had them out because I was working with them and thought well this will be fun for like when people have things to celebrate in the fall so celebrate and then this one, I made it like a little folio, but then I stamped um, the happy birthday sentiment on a piece of paper and glued that down. And then I just put a few little things in these pockets. And again, like you could stick a gift card or you can, you know, write a message to the birthday person. So um, again, and then that's something that they can keep. So instead of just like a regular card. And then this one's a little bit larger and it's looks like a square folio and it has two easy side pockets that fold over and then one large big pocket and I thought you know this will be really cute um, again I put happy birthday and of course you could put you know love Pam or whatever on there but if you wanted to um, give someone some photos or um, memorabilia or write them a longer um, note or a gift card or something um, I think this would be really good for that and I like the shape of it and you could also um, you know we could add a piece of ribbon and then tie it onto a gift bag or something like that so anyway if you want to make these but you're not in the mood to make birthday themed things just don't put the birthday sentiments on there and um, use them in your junk journals or however you want to so um, we will try to get all three of those done today. So let's just jump right in. Let's do the larger square when it's um, the most involved, I guess, um, but not hard. So you're gonna start with a piece of paper. Um, I think it's best if it's double-sided. I do layer some on here, but um, that was just because I wanted to see those cute polka dots. It's not necessary, so um, I, I like having the paper double-sided. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting with a piece of paper that is 10 and a half inches wide and eight inches tall, because we're gonna work with it um, this way. So we're gonna do one score on the eight inch side at two and a half inches. So lay this in your scoreboard. I've got florals and I've got stripes on this one. And we are just gonna score it two and a half inches. Okay. And we're gonna fold it up. And then, you know, I didn't put the scoring for what we score on the 10 inch side because I just winged it. <laughs> um, but let me, let me see if I can um, just figure it out for you guys. So score it two and a half and seven and three quarters. So I will do that. We will score it two and a half and seven and three quarters. For those of you that, that like measurements. So now we're on the 10 inch side, two and a half. Whoops, mine went crazy. And then seven and three quarters. Um, if you're like me and you don't mind just kind of folding things in, you could have just folded yours in and it would have been fine. Now, I tend to find sometimes even when I am attempting to be careful, um, I don't always get my paper trimmed exactly the way that I want it. And I'm seeing that a little bit here. So I am going to show you a trick. Um, or something that I do. I don't know if it's really a trick. You do want to decide if you want like the stripes 
the inside or the florals. So, you know, look at your paper and decide how you want yours. But what I do when I notice that it's not quite as even as I would like, I lay it back on my little paper trimmer and just take off the tiniest of slivers. Everything still works, but now I have really nice, sharp edges. Make sure you lay it in your paper trimmer so nice and straight and just get a little sliver. All right. So now we're gonna do a little bit of cutting and I am going to ink along my score lines so hopefully you guys can see um, better on camera whoops where we're gonna cut okay I don't really need the inside of the pocket inked <laughs> but this is just to help you see okay so grab your scissors and we are going to cut out Again, just just to the right and left of that little score line, just like that. And then I usually just flip it over and snip it off nice and neat. I th believe it was Julie um, with Camellia Crafts that I saw her do that. And I'm like, oh, that really does make a difference um, in helping get that off. So you see I took just a little sliver out. We're going to do that on both sides. And then we are going to make that angled pocket. Oof. So today is the day that our youngest went back to college. <laughs> um, and I, I actually um, did not travel um, to um, for that trip. And um, so my husband will be home soon, and then we're going to celebrate his birthday this evening. So that's exciting. All right, so start whichever side you want. I'm starting with the left-hand side. And on this flap, grab the top right-hand corner where you've cut it, and you're just going to fold it over. And I'm going to leave this here, not, not cut it. We could cut it, um, but I kind of like that contrast and with the little stripe there. And then on the right-hand side, grab the left-hand little corner and do the same thing and just fold it down. And this one, for some reason, oh, I know why. Um, it didn't leave me with a little stripe, and it just depends on which angle um, you folded it from. I think that's why. I don't know. But it's cute. And I'm okay with it. We'll have a stripe here and not on this side. <laughs> if anybody knows why that did that and you want to tell me, let me know. Okay, so if you want to ink before you start gluing all your pockets down, now's the time to do it. I'm just going to add a little bit and I'm using um, Distress Oxide Walnut. Walnut stain. So um, when you have double-sided paper, you use scrapbook paper if you want to. Um, it's really cute because you um, have have the contrast. I kind of like having the stripes in the middle and having my pockets floral, but you could fold them in and have them all stripes or you know whatever your pattern of your paper is. So you can make the decision on that. I'm gonna glue mine down this way, but you could just as easily glue them inside that way. I hope that makes sense. You know what, I'll do one stripe and I'll do one flower and that way you can see what I mean. So this one, we're gonna glue the flap down. Let me just make a decision. All right, I glued the flap down and then I'm gonna do just a bead of glue right along this left-hand side and that's going to close up my pocket. This one, I'm going to glue to the inside. Ooh, like that. And I actually, since I changed my mind, I want to ink this really quick. And then we'll glue this one. Again, a bead of glue just right along the edge. Whoa. Now I printed all of this on my my go-to 90 pound card stack. We're gonna glue here and here to make this a, a nice big pocket in the middle. 
Um, so it's not, again, not super heavyweight, but definitely not just copy paper. Okay, and if you want, you can go ahead then and ink those crease lines if you like that kind of grungy look and ink around the edges, okay? Now, um, is the fun part and it's decorating. And again, I just think this one is so cute for, um, instead of a traditional birthday card. So let's use one of my happy birthday sentiments, just like I did with the other one. Um, and I just stamped, these are some old stamps that I had. I believe they're from Unity um, Stamp Company. <laughs> But I'm talking like 20 years ago, or maybe not that long, maybe 15 years ago. But they are not um, anything new. I've had them in my stash for a very long time. Oh, I did that on polka dot of paper on the back. I love those polka dots. Um, so, you know, you could write happy birthday. You could print it out on a printer. Um, if you have your own stamps, you know, yours will look a little different. Now, this particular paper kit, like I said, it has lots of cute fussy cuts, and there's actually a freebie too that came out that, um, oh, I'm gonna put this right here, that um, has some coordinating elements that I've also cut up and kind of just put in my pile here to use. I haven't really thought through the decorations for the ones that I'm doing on camera. But I think that's cute. And so on my original one, I put a little tab and then I decorated these two pockets because the paper I chose was really just a, a pretty neutral. I think I'm going to leave these so I can see the pocket or maybe just put something really tiny on it if I do. But I'll think about that. Um, the other thing that I did was I put this... Um, flap on the front and I did print another one of those out just because I really thought regardless of which paper I chose it was going to be a nice little faux closure. I don't even have it stuck down with velcro or anything. I just um, put it on here. Um, I did not print it on both sides. Um, and I do like it having a little more um, weight to it, and I even put a little decorative tab there. So we will, um, let me grab some scraps that I have from the kit, and we'll just glue this on so that you don't see the white when you open it up, and it makes it a little sturdier, so it'll hold up a little bit better, I think. Um, of course, if you want to just print on both sides so you don't see the white and skip having that extra, extra layer, that's okay too. You know, and if you're using a scrapbook cardstock weight, you know, you may not need it either. It just kind of depends on what your supplies are and what you're using. So it is getting near the end of summer and I'm already in my mind. It's kind of funny, I'm in full blown wanting to do fall crafts and even starting to think about Christmas. Um, and we're going to the beach next week. Ah, that's so funny. Okay, um, if you want, you can layer. I did that on this one, I put the polka dots. I'm not gonna do that, I wanna see the stripes on this one, I think. But if you want to, you could cut paper and layer it on there. Um, Let's see, I do have, again, some of the scraps from this kit. I think I will put a few of these little, um, little guys on here just to um, break up the stripes a little bit because we also have stripes going in the other direction with the paper that I chose. I just randomly picked, I think there's like 14 or 15, um, 14 or 15 pages in the paper kit, the Harvest Bloom paper kit. Um, and I did not say, okay, I'm gonna do stripes and flowers. I just literally just hit print and then flip my paper over and hit print again. And that is what we got. So I am gonna glue. I decided to just go ahead and wrap it around 
And this is just whatever you choose to decorate the front of your folio. These are just, you know, some ideas. If you want to give it a little bit of, um, you know, layers and things like that, just use whatever paper you have. And this is probably about three quarters of an inch wide. Yeah, three quarters of an inch wide. And then I just wrapped it around. Yeah, and it just gave us another, another little visual. All right, I am going to add glue to approximately this half of my tab. And I'm gonna be careful, hopefully not to glue this closed. Ah, I did okay. All right, and it looks cute on this side too. And then in this kit are some, um, well, they're, they're sold separately. It's like three little kits. Um, but there are these little cards, and I think they are really cute. And then for my narrow pockets, all I did was I picked a couple, and then I just folded them over just a touch like this. Just a touch. And then made them into kind of a tall, skinnier kind of tag. So... I think they look cute. If you wanted, you could, you know, angle around the corners. Again, if you print it on both sides, you wouldn't have the wider. You could layer some paper in there. Um, I am going to just put a little bit of ink so it's not a bright white and call that a day. And we're gonna glue it down. And again, I would make two of these because I have two pockets. But on camera today, I'm going to just make the one to show you guys what I did. And I'm probably going to put some kind of little piece of ribbon on the top. I love this punch. I don't know if I've shown you guys this very often. But it's just this little slot punch. And then when you are doing some ribbon like this, it's real thin. I know this has a name and it's escaping me now. What kind of ribbon is this? Um, of course, it's not going to say it on here. But um, it's like that almost see-through kind of... I can't think of the word. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm okay. I just have a lot on my mind and I can't think about the word. Okay. And you can just fold to tie it just like that. And it just looks so cute. And then you can also use it you know, to loop ribbons through and things like that as well. All right, and then I'd make another one to go in that pocket. And then this would be a lovely addition to a birthday gift or instead of a birthday card. Plenty of room for me to write on um, and, and, and give away. All right, so let's set that one aside and let's make the smaller folio. And this one, like I said, it's kind of similar to things that I have made, but it's very simple and easy. So I've already cut my papers to help save us some time. I should have inked too, but I didn't. Okay, on this one, on the small folder, we are going to, um, this is basically a half piece of paper um, from the digital. If you, you, know, you print this kit and then I cut it in half. It left us with a piece that is eight inches by five and a quarter, okay? On your eight inch side, you want to score it at six and a half. Okay, and that's it. Because then I'm gonna show you how to, how to fold it over. So obviously that one is gonna fold like that. And then this, the, you take your left hand side and you're gonna fold it almost up to the, the crease line. My crease line's right there, I know y'all can't see it. But, and just fold it over. So you only had to score once. All right, if you want to, you can ink. Um, I kept the decoration on the original one really easy. I just used one of the fussy cuts. Um, we'll see if there's one we like for this one or if we wanna do a different kind of decoration on the front. I just used a Velcro dot. But before we do that, let's layer inside because we're gonna make a pocket, a tall pocket, then I just had a piece to layer to put our sentiment on, and then I just did another um, 
piece just for some contrast. So this is a one, one inch by four and three quarters. If you're making yours the same size as mine. So there it is. And then one of these is the pocket. This is the center piece. I made it the same four and three quarters, but it's three inches wide. And this gives my little folder, again, just a little, it's a little bit sturdier having these extra little layers on here. Um, and I think it makes it look nice. It's not a thousand percent necessary. Again, if you don't, if you like the paper you printed it on and you want to see that, you can leave it. Okay, I'll ink more later. But I'm just, this one just gets glued down flat, so I didn't worry about printing on the back. I'm gonna glue this one down and I'm gonna glue this strip down too. So I mentioned um, we are going to the beach. We've not really had a summer vacation this year. I had, um, I, I was out a lot the month of June um, visiting my aunts and traveling with my daughter some. And then I shared with y'all my girlfriend, my best friend from college, her parents died at the same time. So, you know, we were just really busy with a lot of sh just different things going on. This is my pocket and I'm going to do a notch on it. Um, so anyway, we are going to Florida and I'm going to get to see my dad. I'm excited. Um, he lives in Florida with his longtime girlfriend. Her name's Linda. His name's Paul. So we'll get to see Paul and Linda and um, get to enjoy the beach, get to eat some seafood, uh, maybe do some shopping, lots of relaxing, and um, really excited about it. Um, we've got about a week, so especially for my husband, I'm excited he is gonna have some time off of work and where we can just relax and enjoy ourselves. Our anniversary is in August, and of course his birthday's today, it's in August. I'm just gonna glue this down. I just put the glue on the three sides. And I'm lining it up with the bottom. I did make it a smidge shorter just because I wanted my pocket to be a little shorter. Okay. Oh, and then we're gonna stack another pocket right on here. And I know I cut the paper for it, but no telling where it flew off to. This little pocket is two and three quarter by one and a half inches can't find it so we're going to just wing it I don't even know what paper I had planned to use but this one looks good so what did I say two and three quarters yeah this is right at two and three quarters by one and a half we'll just use this anyway um, we're gonna be out of pocket for a while and I'm gonna try to have several videos and things uh, pre-recorded for you guys um, because that's what I do and I have fun making videos, um, but I don't know if I'll have as many as I normally post, but we'll see. All right, I'm just gonna glue this. I'm not gonna put a notch in it. I'm just gonna glue on three sides and turn it into a pocket. But um, anyway, I'm, I am getting excited. Um, for us to just have a little change of scenery, change of scenery. All right, okay. Now I did stamp some other sentiments. Um, you know, I can do happy birthday again and it just looks so cute in there. But this one's I love you, we could do that. This could just be uh, to give to somebody that you love. And it could be on their birthday or it could be for their anniversary. I could save this one and give it to my honey. Um, so I'm just going to put, I love you. And again, I hope this just gives you some ideas of how you can use the same type of supplies and things that, you know, we have fun with, um, but in a little bit different way. All right, I'm gonna put this. This was part of the little freebie kit. And again, on the original one, I just made another super skinny tag out of one of those cards. Um, so I'm not gonna make that on camera. I folded that one all the way over to meet and made it just nice and skinny to fit in that pocket. So we'll worry about doing our closure instead. All right, how cute. 
So that one I just did a fussy cut. So let's see if we have a fussy cut we like. Um, it's hard for me to choose because they're always all so cute. Um, ooh, I like that bird. You guys know I love a bird, don't you? Okay, so the bird wins. And again, if you don't have fussy cuts like this, you could punch like a circle out. You could, um, well, really any shape you want. Um, or if you have another image or something, you could just kind of cut it out freehand and use it the way I am going to use this one to help with my closure. Fun. Okay, so I am going to glue this part of the image. And again, do my best not to glue my folio closed. Let's see how I did. Well, that wasn't smart. I should have glued it to this side, you guys. That's so funny. I can't believe I did that. Arr! Okay, so if you if you make a mistake like I did, and now our little bird, this is the part that would be free over here. Um, you, you've got plenty of options to fix your blenders. So let's do our oopsie, and we are going to tear with our ruler a strip of the, these cute little pumpkins. Just gonna eyeball some pumpkins, and we're going to cover that up so it doesn't look messy. And it would be nice if I turned them the right way. And then, so our, our cover is going to be a little more decorated than we thought it was going to be. And then we'll decide what's next. Oh, the paper I printed on the back of that's cute too. It's like a little grid. All right, so I'm going to glue this down flat. I think it's important to remember it's just paper. And if you do make a mistake, just about everything is fixable. So instead of taking the time to glue this to a piece of paper and cut all the way around it, I'm just gonna pick a different fuzzy cut. But um, I hope you didn't mess yours up if you were if you were crafting with me. Ooh, I like the apple. All right, this time we're gonna do it right. So let me ink my apple. And these are printed on a pretty bright white cardstock. And so I'm just using my Distress Ink to kind of grunge it up just a little so it's not quite so bright right now. Obviously, I need to glue it and glue it to this flap. I wasn't even thinking when I did that before. All right, very sweet. Yay, it opens easily now. I'm gonna get out my trusty Velcro dots. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I usually tell you about a little bit about my supplies. So um, this is one of my favorite supplies, but I do have most of the things that I use and craft with are in my, if they're available on Amazon, they're in my Amazon storefront. So there's a link in the description if you're interested um, and you want to see some of the supplies that I use, like my glue and um, these sweet little Velcro dots and things like that. So you're welcome to take a peek. All right. Open, open. We've got I love you. I'm going to make a tag later to stick right in there. And then we can write here. I think it's so cute. All right. So we've made that one. And I think we have time to do the last little library pocket. So I've made library pockets with you guys before. But I think they make a cute like birthday or anniversary or whatever I'm thinking about you kind of card. So to make one the size I'm going to make it, I'm gonna actually, even though I printed on both sides, I'm gonna layer the back. That's why I did on this one. It, has, it's, it just feels good that way. So start off with a piece of paper that is five and a quarter inches by three and one quarter inches. And then your pocket is going to be four inches by two and three quarter inches. Now you can lay this on a scoreboard and score or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is I'm going to just kind of eyeball, it's about a quarter of an inch all the way around 
and I'm going to fold up the bottom. Hopefully I did this straight. I'm going to fold in the side and I'm going to fold in the side. Now, if you don't want to do it like that, your option, which is a good option, is to score one quarter of an inch all the way around and it should be just fine. But I'm doing it the easy way. And I am gonna miter those corners. So I just chopped them off. And then I'm gonna glue my pocket to the back of the card. And it's gonna leave us with a nice roomy pocket. I would also be inking all of this, but I don't wanna make the video too, too long while y'all watch me ink. So we will not worry about inking it yet. But if you want your zinc, now's the time to do it. It's the best time. It's just easier. All right, so I'm going to glue both of the side flaps down. Library pockets like this are a great mass make. Um, or if you know, you're wanting to just have a lot of ephemera on hand, maybe for a large journal you're making and you want a lot of different uh, library pockets and things available, you can go for it. All right, this piece... I was just, you can leave it like that, and especially if you're gonna mount it in a journal, but because I'm giving this as a card or in lieu of a card, I'm gonna just mount the piece of paper. This piece is three and one quarter inches by five and a quarter, okay? And I'm just gonna glue it down. And again, normally I would, I would probably ink it first. All right, and mine have the pumpkins, so I'm gonna make sure they're faced the right way. Oh, how cute. All right, and then it's just decorating. I did do a little strip on my original one. I don't know if I'm going to on this one, though. I kinda like, I may put something here, but I kinda like the, um, I like it like that. So let me pick another one of the little, um, coordinating cards and what I did with this one is instead of I just I don't even remember what it said this is a different one but I covered it up with um, the word celebrate that I had stamped on a piece of paper and then glued it down and I did like a little torn edge on that one but this one I'm just going to ink and I am going to glue it on here. And it is printed on the other side, so that'll be cute. You can see the polka dot on the other side. And I don't know, should we put a ribbon on this one too? Why not? Let's put a little ribbon on it. I'm gonna do this one, the ribbon on the side. I think it'll be fun. And do I have any more of that cute orange ribbon? I'm not seeing any laying on my desk. I don't know what I have. Uh, maybe we'll do green. How does green sound? Green is in the scraps. I have scraps of green. Scraps of green. All right. So I'm going to do it the same way and just kind of tie it off. But you can, like I said, feed it through and loop it. I love this little punch very cute don't pull too hard like I did <laughs> I, I, I almost had a problem but I, I, I stopped myself all right so just to have a cute little thing and you know you could round the corners of these um, I think that would be cute too but how sweet is that I think on the front like I said, the polka dot strip that I cut out just doesn't look quite right, but I definitely want something. So maybe some more pumpkins, why not? Can you have too many pumpkins in the fall? I don't think so. Well, I hope you guys liked these ideas and I hope that when you're thinking about, you know, using um, some paper crafts in a less traditional way, um, that, that you'll, you'll remember this. If you want to make somebody a card, it doesn't have to be the same kind of just regular open up card, right? In an envelope. You could do something different and fun. 
<laughs> and there's lots of other ideas too. Pretty much anything that when I make little folios and little tags and stuff, if you want to turn that into a birthday or a I love you, I'm thinking about you, a get well, get well would be sweet, you could do that. Okay, so we've made the small little folder. We made the nice big square birthday folio. And then we made um, celebrate little library pockets. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody, have a great day.